Advanced Life Support Nausea and Vomiting, Ambulance Victoria Clinical Practice Guidelines. So vomiting, there are many different causes of nausea and vomiting. Internal causes include headaches, viral infections, heart attacks, severe pain from any source, abdominal sources, appendicitis, hepatitis, kidney or gallbladder issues and pregnancy. And external causes include motion sickness, alcohol poisoning, food poisoning and medicines. So metabolic causes also include uremia, endocrine imbalance, electrolyte imbalance, hypercalcemia, hyponatremia, all affect the vomiting centre of the brain in the lower medulla. Emotional, spiritual, psychological, anticipatory nausea and vomiting prior to chemotherapy, meaning of illness, loss of personhood, role change and suffering. Treatment related, chemotherapy, radio, radiation therapy, especially to brain or gastrointestinal tract, medications, initial opioid therapy, antibiotics, aspirin, NSAIDS, carbamazepine, steroids and expectorants. Then you've got brain metastases, increased intracranial pressure, bowel intestinal obstruction, hepato, megali, oral thrush and cough. So you can have really three different main causes of nausea and vomiting that stimulate the chemo receptor trigger zone at the base of the fifth ventricle from the vestibular apparatus, the gastrointestinal tract, and all cause nausea and vomiting. So raised intracranial pressure, pressure malodor, anxiety and memories, vestibular apparatus, motion sickness, vestibulitis, chemoreceptor trigger zone, metabolic toxins, example increased calcium, bun, creatinine, drugs, chemotherapy, DKA, gastrointestinal tract, irritation, distension, obstruction, all stimulate the vomiting centre and to cause nausea and vomiting. So you've got three main pathways, the central pathway, the vagal pathway and the vestibular pathway. So the central pathway, brainstem emetic control, center or dorsal vagal complex, nucleus tractus sal salutary, area postremer, chemoreceptor trigger zone, dorsal motor nucleus of the vagus nerve, vagal pathway supplemented with splanchnic nerves, gastrointestinal tract, high centers, small vision etc and pharynx and the stipular apparatus in the ear or cause nausea and vomiting. So nausea and vomiting may be manifestations of many conditions. However, a useful abbreviation for remembering causes of nausea and vomiting is vomit. V for vestibular, O for obstruction or drugs like opiates, M for mind dysmotility, I for infection, irritation of gut, T for toxins, taste and other senses. So remember, vomit stands for vestibular obstruction or opiates, mind, dysmotility, infection, irritation of gut, toxins, taste and other senses. So what happens when you get um, nausea? You may go into a cold sweat, salivation, vasoconstriction, airway secretion, tachycardia, tachyantia, diaphragm contraction, abdominal muscle contraction, and then you vomit and then it relaxes. Okay, let's perform quiz number one to review causes of vomiting. When you come back, we will review the nausea and vomiting clinical practice guidelines. So clinical practice guideline for nausea and vomiting, prochlorperazine must only be administered intramuscularly. Maxillon and Stematol should never be administered together in the same episode of care because it will create an extra risk of extrapyramidal 
reactions. If there are no contraindications, the IV route is not attainable, administer metoclopramide intramuscularly. If nausea and vomiting well tolerated, basic care and transport is the only required treatment. Sometimes it's better to empty the stomach by vomiting. Be careful with metoclopramide polyamp as it is similar to ipitropium bromide and atropine polyamps in appearance. Advanced life support nausea and vomiting clinical practice guideline status actual or potential for nausea and vomiting, assess for nausea and vomiting, potential spinal injury, eye trauma, potential motion sickness and vertigo. Nausea and vomiting associated with cardiac chest pain, iatrogenic secondary to opioid analgesia, previously diagnosed migraine, secondary to cytotoxic drugs or radiotherapy, severe gastroenteritis, action, Metoclopramide 10 mg IV IM and repeat 10 mg IV IM after 10 minutes if symptoms persist to a maximum of 20 mg. If allergic to Maxilon, give Stematol 12.5 mg IM. Dehydration, normal saline 20 ml per kilo. Prophylaxis for motion sickness or aeromedical retrieval, Prochlorperazine 12.5 mg. Prophylaxis for spinal injury, immobilised to stretcher in an awake patient with GCS 13 to 15, or eye trauma, example penetrating eye injury, high femur, give metoclopramide 10 mg IV IM, repeat 10 mg IV IM after 10 minutes if symptoms persist to a maximum of 20 mg. So metoclopramide pre presentation, 10 mg in 2 ml polyamp, pharmacology, anti-emetic actions, accelerates gastric emptying and peristalsis, dopamine receptor antagonist. Metabolism by the liver, excreted by the kidneys. Primary emergency indications, nausea and vomiting associated with chest pain, discomfort over cardiac nature, opioid administration for, for pain, cytotoxic or radiotherapy, previously diagnosed migraine, severe gastroenteritis, prophylaxis, awake spinal immobilised patients and eye trauma. Contraindication, children, suspected bowel obstruction or perforation, gastrointestinal haemorrhage. Precautions, undiagnosed abdominal pain, adolescents less than 20 years, administer slowly over one minute to minimise the risk of extrapyramidal reactions. Route of administration, IV, IN. Side effects, drowsiness, lethargy, dry mouth, muscle tremor, extrapyramidal reactions, usually the dystonic type. Special notes, not effective for established motion sickness, not effective for nausea prophylaxis in the setting of opioid administration. IV effects, onset one to three minutes, duration 10 to 30 minutes. IM effects, onset 10 to 15 minutes, duration one to two hours. Prochlorperazine, stematol, presentation 12.5 milligrams in one mil glass ampule, uh, glass bottle for IM injection. Pharmacology, antiemetic acting on several central neuro neurotransmitter systems. Metabolism, metabolised by the liver, excreted by the kidneys. Primary emergency indication, treatment or prophylaxis of nausea and vomiting for motion sickness, planned aeromedical evacuation, known allergy or contraindication to metoclopramide administration, headache irrespective of nausea and vomiting, and vertigo. Contraindications, circulatory collapse, central nervous system depression, previous hypersensitivity and children. Precautions, hypotension, epilepsy, patients affected by alcohol or on antidepressants. Route of administration, intramuscularly. Side effects of prochlorperazine include drowsiness, blurred vision, hypotension, sinus tachycardia, skin rash, extrapyramidal reactions, usually the dystonic type. Dystonia is a neurological movement disorder in which sustained muscle contractions cause twisting and repetitive movements or abnormal postures. 
ocular crisis and extreme and sustained usually upward deviation of the eyes often with convergence causing diplopia double vision it is frequently associated with backward and lateral flexion of the neck and either widely open mouth or jaw clenching frequently a result of anti such as neuroleptics example procolpyrazine or metoclopramide also can be caused by chlorpromazine Special notes, intramuscular effect, onset 20 minutes, peak 40 minutes, duration 6 hours. Normal saline, presentation 10 ml polyamp, 500 ml or 1000 ml infusion soft pack. Pharmacology, an isotonic crystalloid solution, composition electrolyte, sodium and chloride in a similar concentration as extracellular fluid. Actions, increases the volume of the intravascular compartment. Metabolism, electrolytes excreted by the kidneys, water excreted by the kidneys, distributed throughout the total body water, mainly in the extracellular fluid compartment. Primary emergency indications as a replacement fluid in volume depleted patients to expand intravascular volume in the non-cardiac, non-hypovolemic, hypotensive patient, example anaphylaxis, burns, sepsis as a fluid challenge in unresponsive non-hypovolemic hypotensive patients other than left ventricular failure example PEA asthma fluid for diluting and administering IV drugs fluid to KVO for IV administration of emergency drugs contraindications nil of significance in the above indication precautions consider modifying factors when administering for hypovolemia Route of administration, IV, IO. Side effects, nil of significance in the above indication. Special notes, IV half-life, 30 to 60 minutes. Okay, let's perform quiz two to review the advanced life support nausea and vomiting clinical practice guidelines and medications. Congratulations on completing the package. Well done.